Victoria here, and they get him Victoria here, and the power of the man, and they get him Victoria here, and the power of the man, and they get him Victoria here, 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 and
85 or 89 dollars i think yeah 12.50 each so super happy got a high lift jack uh, it's an off name brand nothing big it's just sitting over there on the side so i'm holding tape cleaner I got an entire box of tape duct tape and mastic foil tape and gaffer's tape which is what i was really interested in gaffer's tape i wish it was black uh, this is all white but that stuff goes for man like 20 dollars a roll and up i got an entire box for i think 10 bucks so that was a steal I got a little Christmas box. I'm not even real sure what's all in this, but I'm not going to go through all of it. I did come across what looks like maybe a jointer blade, six inch blade for general. That's what I'm guessing. There's a router bit. We got some aluminum jaws in there. There's two or three air cylinders in here. Some leveling feet. Several hole saws, cut off wheels, and just all kinds of stuff. My nose is kind of cool because, like I said, sometimes it's like Christmas. Whole bunch of flat face hydraulic couplers, hand plane. It's not a super old one or anything, but it is a Stanley, and they just couldn't get anybody to bid on it, so I grabbed it. Couple Cat 40 tool holders, paint shaker, which I've wanted for a long time, but they always want, I mean, brand new, these things are stupid, 125, 135 bucks, something like that, and I just wasn't willing to pay that for it. Stack of five inch sandpaper. There's a box of chain, and I bought that just for uh, projects, welding, art, you know, make little cool stuff off of two inch ball valves. The smoker I'm gonna make uses a two inch ball valve to regulate air input. And most of the ones you go buy are, are brass, which, which is fine. These are stainless steel and I got these for a bargain. A couple Orville steering motors or steering valves, some big NPT taps, a couple drill holsters, Saw blades. That's an eight inch saw blade. What a weird size too. Not sure what I'm gonna do with those, but I was mostly just interested in the seven and a quarter. And then my good stuff. Milwaukee Fuel Sawzall. Milwaukee Fuel seven and a quarter inch circular saw. Not the little six and a half that comes in all the kits. This is the big seven and a quarter that they only sell either separately as a bare tool or uh, in a kit with batteries. Batteries, a six and a 12. Another impact. This one's bigger than the other one I got that uh, you guys probably saw in the video. Once again, this one's still not their big 1400, but this one is 1100 and I got it for a good enough deal that it was worth buying and grease gun. I've wanted a cordless grease gun for quite a while just because there's there's some things on some of the equipment that it's really kind of a pain to grease. You're holding a nipple in there and you gotta squeeze it really hard and ever since I've used my dad's cordless grease gun on farm equipment I've been sold on them but I didn't want to buy one of the name brands that didn't match my other stuff so this is going to work out great. And this is only a 12 volt, it's not the 18, but it's not like it's an impact or something doing a lot of work. So I don't see any reason why that 12 won't do me just fine. Plus I get more 12 volt batteries and stuff too. But that's my haul. Like I said, uh, when my wife and kids are helping me carry stuff in, they're just shaking their heads saying, you already got enough junk. Why are you buying all this? And I kind of couldn't help myself. Once again, that's my haul. But thanks, everybody. Hit the thumbs up to like the video. Hit the subscribe button. Tap on the little bell notification to be notified of all the upcoming videos.
Leave me comments. Good, negative, constructive criticism, whatever. I, I welcome it all. You guys aren't going to bother me a bit. But thank you very much and have a great rest of your day. Jesus, that's a monster. Holy cow. Speed one. Holy cow, speed two. The difference in size between those two. I guess it's nice that they have this lined with a harder plastic, but I still don't know why you would ever want to store a grease gun in a fabric case. I think if anything, you'd want it in a hard pack out case, or hard plastic case.